He is a rock legend, a model railway enthusiast, a passionate footballer, and according to James Brown, the best white soul singer in the world. Welcome back to another episode of Insane Wealth. In this video, we dive deep into the success story and lifestyle of the British rock star, Sir Rod Stewart, who, with his distinctive raspy voice, is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, having sold more than one million records worldwide. But before we move ahead, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our amazing luxury lifestyle videos. Let's get right into it. Roderick David Stewart was born in North London in 1945 during World War II as the youngest of five children of Robert Stewart and Elsie Gilbert. The family was neither affluent nor poor. When his father retired from his building trade, he bought a newsagent's shop on the Archway Road and the family lived over the shop. Stewart, being the youngest child, was spoiled and has called his childhood fantastically happy. He failed the 11-plus exam at Highgate Primary School since his passion lied outside academics. His main hobby was railway modeling and football. The sport ran through the family. Combining natural athleticism with near-reckless aggression, Stewart became captain of the school football team and played for Middlesex schoolboys as center half. All that changed when he was introduced to rock and roll in 1956 when Little Richie released The Girl Can't Help It. Stewart joined a skiffle group called The Cool Cats in 1960 along with some friends from school. In 1963, he joined the Dimensions as a harmonica player and vocalist. From there, he moved on to Long John Baldry and the All-Stars, then Jeff Beck before joining the band that made him famous and successful, Faces, in 1969. He also maintained a solo career, releasing his debut album that same year. Stewart's early albums were a fusion of rock, folk rock, soul music, and R&B. His third album, 1971's Every Picture Tells a Story, was his breakthrough and a chart topper in several countries, with its ballad Maggie May becoming a super hit. His single, You Wear It Well, from the follow-up album, topped the charts in the UK. Rod achieved commercial success in the 1970s. In total, he released 31 studio albums throughout his career, many of which were chart toppers. Yours in My Heart, I Don't Want to Talk About It, Baby Jane and Maggie May are among his best-known hits. Stewart announced the breakup of the Faces in 1975. After a disco and new wave period in the early 1980s, his music turned to a soft rock style with most of his albums reaching the top 10 in the UK, Germany, and Sweden, but faring less well in the US. In 2008, Billboard magazine ranked him the 17th most successful artist on the Billboard Hot 100 all-time artists. He received a Grammy and a Brit Award and was voted at number 33 in Q Magazine's list of the top 100 greatest singers of all time. Due to the success in his career, Stewart made it to the top 10 wealthiest people in the British music industry. He has made his money from selling singles and albums, producing music, and also other aspects of work in the music industry, such as ticket sales, merchandise, and fees for live performances. His wealth has allowed him to have homes in France and Essex, a Palm Beach seafront house, and a Beverly Hills mansion. The most outstanding house he ever possessed was the mansion in the English countryside. Built in the 19th century, the Jacobean-style classic house sits on 25 acres of whimsical grounds near Epping Forest in Essex and is priced at $9.84 million. The 12,568-square-foot main residence has six bathrooms with private bedrooms. There are four reception rooms, a game room with a bar, an office, and a library. The property also features a self-contained guest cottage and staff accommodations. Then there is a full-size pitch for soccer lovers and stables and paddocks for horse lovers. Strolling through his garage, you will immediately figure out that the British rock legend is an ardent Lamborghini lover. He has almost all exclusive models of the Italian luxury on four wheels. His other cars include a Porsche, a Rolls-Royce Ghost, and a Ferrari Enzo. In his personal life, Rod Stewart is known almost as much for having multiple relationships with women as he is for his music. He is surrounded by rumors of indulging in sex and drugs. He married three times, has eight children by five mothers, and has had several high-profile relationships with celebrities. He is currently married to model Penny Lancaster, whom he'd been dating since 1999 when he was still married to his second wife, Rachel Hunter. But the only thing Stewart still loves more than girls, drugs, booze, and music is football. Oh, and Lamborghinis. But Rod has a heart that is bigger than his cars. In 2017, he gave a generous donation of £10,000 at the Pride of Britain Awards to help an award-winning beauty open a salon. Today, he continues to perform live, and his last tour took place in 2019. Even now, people from around the world continue to buy his albums and buy tickets to see him perform live. Therefore, it is little wonder that he has achieved a net worth of $240 million. So there we have it, the lifestyle of Rod Stewart. Which aspect of his life fascinated you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please press the like button and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.